channel, Sugar Bugas. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video I am super excited about because I finally get to tell you all how I make my Sims. So this video is going to basically include what skin I use, what eyes I use, what teeth, um, and then kind of like my tips and tricks and techniques on how I create my Sims. Keyword my sims so i get a lot of questions about my new current skin combination so right now we just have a completely random generated sim and we are going to hop on in to the face details so for her eyes i like to use the chamomile eyes by comfy sim i think um and they are look they look like this i mean uh, the ea eyes i don't even know what they look like because i don't have the swatch to show you but you guys can kind of guess the difference i just think they look a little more animated uh, I know little Simsy uses these and that's pretty much where I found the link from I love the way she creates her sims and the big thing for me is to have sims that look good by default and then use the makeup to enhance their beauty I felt like for the longest time I would slather my sims in makeup just because I wasn't happy with their looks like by default I felt like they looked kind of weird um, but I noticed that with these uh, skin overlays and the eyes and the teeth and all that jazz I don't really need to use a lot of makeup on myself and I will be linking everything in the description for you guys in case you would like to um, download this stuff for your game as well. And then for the skin, like I said, before I felt like I would have to use a lot of this stuff. As you guys can see, I have a lot of little details. Uh, but my favorite right now to overlay on the default skin by Mad Mono. I'm not sure which one it is, but it is by Mad Mono. And there are like a whole bunch to download. And I didn't realize they were default each one. And you only install one at a time. I have like five installed. So I don't really know which one it is. But they're all very similar. And you'll get the same effect. So I'll link that down below as well. But on top of Mad Mono. I used to use this one by Ammo Bay, and I really liked the way that this one looked. Uh, there's four different swatches here, and essentially what that controls is like the boobage. <laughs> That's about it. You get, you get like, you know, nothing, and then oh, a little bit of bounce. And then, hey, bish, bust out the contour. And then, dang, that Dolly Parton. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm all like, uh, bishware. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so I used to like that one for the longest time and it looks pretty good. That's without and that's with. But then I saw this one by, um, I think her name is Sim Sweetie and it is called the Foley Ducks. I don't know. And I loved it. I loved it because look at the little like dimple action. You get kind of more like emphasized mouth corners. I'm sorry. It just kind of reminds me of dimples. And just overall like smooths out the skin tone there are a couple different swatches here like this one is a little more defining I don't really use this one that much uh this last one here kind of gives like a natural not really natural but more of like a glow and a highlight uh, so i like to stick with this one or the one by ammo bay so if you wanted to add like additional um you know features not features but definition you could go in with that uh these um, you could go in with the eye bags by Tamo and they do layer on top of the skin uh, and there's a whole bunch to like choose from just depending on what you want your skin, uh, skim, your Sims face to look like. <laughs> what am I thinking of milk? Uh, but I, I usually steer clear of those. I don't feel like I need them that much. Or if you wanted to give your Sim a little more of a defined nose bulb, you could use that one by Simchu. So those are like really the few items that I use when it comes to like defining the face and all that kind of fun stuff. And then of course you can you add on top of that like with freckles and all that. But I'm not going to get into... Um, um, all that stuff right now. I just wanted to show you like the bare bones, the bare basics. So we're going to leave her with that. Uh, and the same thing goes for the males. I'll show you what it looks like in the male section. So as you can see, my Sim here, he has the eyes. And then if I wanted to go into the skin details, there is also one for the males. And I can't really tell with his mustache, but that's what it looks like with and without. I don't think I have the Ammo Bay one for males. So this is like super duper helpful, but I just love the way that it that it just makes my sims look it like gives them a look you know oh and i forgot to talk about the teeth oh my goodness so the so 3d teeth that i like to use are by pixis uh, and I really like the way that these look in game and photos when your Sims are just smiling, just literally mostly in game. And it looks awesome with all the other like different uh, teeth meshes. 
Now, if you're wondering how my zooms are so bright and flawless and all that kind of fun stuff and like what, you know, in-game lighting system I use, I will link you to that video at the end of this one. Uh, it's just a couple, you know, a couple files you install and it really helps with the, with thumbnail taking. So anyway, if I was to go and hypothetically create a female sim, where would I start? I usually like to start at the face. And I always remove the hair and then I remove the clothes. It's like, <laughs> you know, before you're gonna go hop into the shower or something, you gotta like strip down, I guess. So that's what I like to do. And then this just gives me a clear, like not clear canvas, but like an empty canvas to paint on. And then I just kind of go with the flow, whatever I'm vibing with, you know? Sometimes I will start from whatever sim uh, the game gives me at random and I'll just kind of build off of that. That way I can keep each of my sims kind of unique and build them off of this base template if I really wanted to and just not really switch up their features all that much. Uh, or, you know, I'll go and Google and I'll look around for like some inspiration or maybe I have someone or something in mind. Just kind of depends. And yeah, I do have a certain physique I follow. And is there any real reason why? How come I don't branch out? I don't know. It's like when you're creating a sim sometimes, and especially if you're doing it out of pure habit, you just, you create what you know. You create what you are accustomed to. You almost go down the same path every time. And I'm trying to branch out a little bit, but I don't hate my style. So if that's the type of sim I create, you know, there's sliders there for a reason. Anybody can, you know, pull them, slide them, do whatever they want and really tailor make each one of my creations to fit their own personal gameplay or how uh, they want their sim to look. You know what I mean? So right now I'm just literally playing around. Like, as you guys can see, I really didn't do all that much. So once I kind of got her face, I like to do some, maybe some character defining things or not, you know, maybe I'll emphasize a feature here, or emphasize a feature there, make maybe one smaller, um, just depends on how unique I want to get with it or how plain Jane or just whatever I'm kind of going for at the time. Anyway, uh, let me go and see what I would like to do with her. So far, I'm really loving the way that she looks. So the next thing for me personally would be in, going in with a hairstyle. And often when I go in with a hairstyle, this is what makes me feel like I'm creating a persona or, you know, this, this particular Sims, um, character so I think I kind of want to play with some of the stuff from the new stuff pack fan created stuff pack called cottage stuff I'm actually going to need to find it really fast because it's I think it's buried down in here so I like this hairstyle but I kind of also really liked the pigtails that came with it so just give me a second i have a lot of stuff in here if you guys would like more videos on certain things uh just let me know in the comments down below okay here they are here are the pigtails and i think they just fit her so perfectly i almost feel like she would be a teenage sim so let's go and kind of age her down a little bit and make her a teenage sim so I do want to like kind of broaden up her shoulders and her overall physique is just generally kind of what I go for. It's really simple. And then I think the next thing I would do is probably dress her. Uh, I feel like she would definitely be kind of a more casual sim. Someone who kind of wears things a little more comfy, like oversized shirts, sweatshirts, and that sort of thing. I really liked this blouse. Maybe... This oversized sweater or let's see here um I like I have a whole bunch of oversized t-shirts hold on let me just scroll at the bottom so yeah like this here I feel like this is totally a look or do I have any other big ones uh, this one by Danny Paradise is pretty cool all right so even though it's just like a really casual outfit I super duper am in love with it I think I kind of liked the pink on her a little bit. Ooh, the little popsicles are cute. Let's do the popsicles. Next, I feel like I could give her a skirt or maybe I think leggings would go better or even like these short shorts where you can't see them. And she's just looking like she's walking around commando or these rolled up shorts. I'm not really sure. Gosh, I don't know. All right, so the rest of this video is literally going to be me creating a sim and kind of showing you how I go about it in real time. I'm only going to be creating the first part of the outfit because I could go on for years if I did like all, like what, six styles. 
Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how I go about creating my sim. And when it comes to outfits and stuff, I just, I go off of what I vibe. Like if I feel like this sim is a more casual sim, I'll dress her up casual. If I feel like she has a certain look that I'm going for, I'll have to maybe research it a little bit more because no, I don't know every type of look there is out there or, you know, whatever the situation is. I just kind of create whatever it is that I'm feeling, you know, I'll start with the base um, sometimes, like I said, it's just a random generated sim and I'll go from there or sometimes I'll, I'll go with whatever I have in mind. It's just a combo of things, but I really do feel like the, the basic things that I do use, um, you know, that I showed you here today are really just, you know, I don't know. They're just, they're just what I use. I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of like where I get my inspiration from. I don't know. I feel like they look good across the board. Anyway, so now that I got her outfit out of the way, um, for her makeup, I, I, I said I really don't feel like she needs anything, but I will show you something I'm really loving right now, and it's, it's by Savage Sim Baby, and I just love it. I love it so much. Uh, now, she is a teenager, so I don't really feel like she would wear a lot of makeup, but I definitely feel like she would wear a little bit. And anyway, this, is, this comes as a pack, and I think it comes with um, some eyeshadows too, which also match the looks perfectly. I'm going to just kind of overdo her uh, just for the sake of this video. Um, but you guys can kind of see how she comes together. I just, I, I definitely had to give this, this pack a little bit, not a pack, but I had to give that makeup set um, a shout out because I love it so much. And I have a really hard time finding cute uh, Sim Max's matched uh <laughs> makeup sorry I'm like focusing right now so anyway that's kind of what she looks like and then you know I'll just look at my sim a little bit and sometimes I'll have a name in mind sometimes I won't and for me I feel like Janelle just it just stands out to me for her it just comes to me I don't know how to say it Janelle Roper Janelle Valencia Janelle Amato Ooh, I like that one okay and then from Janelle I kind of feel like she isn't really a popular sim but I kind of feel like she could be I feel like she taps into her creative side quite a bit I could actually see her becoming a best-selling author she seems like she's very intellectual and then once I go off for the like the lifetime traits or whatever the situation is you know I'll go in to <sighs> bookworm I kind of feel like that fits because she obviously gets inspired by um you know novels that she reads and then I also feel like Janelle um I feel like Janelle's kind of outgoing yeah I do so that's Janelle <laughs> and then for this sim here I actually think he's super duper adorable the way he is so I'll probably end up leaving him but when it comes to males I just play around I don't really have a certain plan I pull and tug I kind of like uh, this plaid shirt on him a lot and I kind of like it in this color I think green is definitely his jam these ripped jeans not even mad at it kind of fits so then I will go with, I feel like males are just easier to create in general. I'll go with these boots here because I feel like they look really, really nice. I don't think I have a pair of boots that, uh, <laughs> going to the moon, uh, that would work better. Maybe even, ooh, I like those. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, or black. Oh, I feel like, I feel like brown is just surprising. It's not predictable. So there is this guy right here. Um, and then maybe with the mail, sometimes I'll add accessories if I feel like they're a little down in the dumps, a little boring. Um, but usually, I mean, males, that's it. It's pretty straight to the point. It's pretty simple. And when it comes to a male, you know, like when I even naming sims, I'll either have a name in mind or just randomize a couple times until I get something that I want. This one says Ray, uh, or I can't really see what it says, but I just think Jay actually fits a lot better. So his name is Jay. And then his last name is going to be Jay Harwood. Perfect. Awesome. And I feel like Jay is a super smart sim. Um, I feel like he would be more of like a computer whiz a little bit who is a genius. Sure. Um, however, he is definitely a little clumsy. So let me go ahead and find the banana peel. And that's kind of like his downfall. I usually don't play with a lot of like downfalls, I guess. And then also um, with that, I feel like Jay... Uh, let me see. What else could Jay potentially be? 
childish, lazy, squeamish. We'll make, we'll make Jay squeamish. He's he's afraid of the, the creepy crawlers. And that's it. So there I went ahead and created two sims uh, for you guys in real life time as quickly as I could. Sorry if this part of the video was a little bit boring, but you get to see how I do it. And yeah, maybe you learned some new things. Maybe you didn't. I mean, for me personally, there really isn't any exact science. I literally go with the flow. Sometimes I have a plan. Sometimes I don't. But at least you can kind of see where I start and where I end uh in terms of creating sims and sometimes i have more diverse sims than others and <laughs> sometimes they all look alike it's just it's a you know draw of the straw kind of a deal but anyways guys it was really fun hanging out with you guys so anyway, I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me here today and creating a couple of sims. If you're interested in any of the downloads I spoke about, I will definitely link them down below for y'all. And let me know in the comments below if there is any other types of videos like this you'd like to see. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. The sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.